Hi, this is Laura GP and in this video we're going to look at how to use parameters when connecting to a dataverse in a Power BI report. This is to prep a report ready to use lifecycle management, okay, so that we can move it to different environments. So here we have a really simple report. It only has two tables, um, account and contact. Um, and they are the account and contact table from a Dataverse environment. So there are five accounts and six contacts. If we go and have a look over in Dataverse, okay, so here I am in a very simple little model-driven app that literally shows my list of accounts. There are the five accounts and there are the six contacts. But if I look over on the right-hand side, I've got a different environment um, in Dataverse and it's got more accounts and it's got more contacts and I want to be able to move my report easily to have a version that points at one environment and another version that points at a different environment. So that's what we're going to be preparing. So the first thing we do is we go and have a look at our query. So back into Power BI and click transform data. And here we are in Power Query. And we can see we've got our two queries there on the left hand side. And if we move to the right hand side, in the applied steps, there's a source line. And if I click on that cogwheel, we get our environment domain, which was in the URL at the top. But I want to parameterize this and I want to make it easy. And there's not, I want a little drop down box to appear there. So let's show you how to get that first. So press cancel onto the view ribbon and under parameters, there's a tick box that says always allow. So let's tick that and then click that cogwheel over on the right hand side again. And now I get a little drop down. Before I drop that down, I'm just going to copy that value. And then I'm going to drop that arrow down and you see it comes up with a new parameter. So I click on there. Now I always call it environment. It's text. And I'm going to put in that as my current value. Paste it in from where I copied it and then click OK. And there we are. It's changed the account to use that environment. And I can then click OK. And just checking that's still going to work. We can come down to here and there we are. We still have our data. Now you'll need to go through every table and this is why I've only got two tables. So this is nice and quick. On your other tables, I click contact there. And on the source line, click the cog wheel again. And there we get a little drop down and I can now put in I want it to be a parameter that I've already got. And there we are, environment, and click OK. Now we can just do a quick check by looking in our query dependencies. Now I realise on a big table, this is going to be a bit of a horrible diagram. But I can see my environment um, parameter there links to both my tables. So you can make sure that actually it links to all the tables and make sure that's all working. So click close. So that's done that part. That's actually done the complicated part. So if I go home, close and apply, it's going to reload them because it knows they've both changed. So that's still working. Our report still functions. So let's just check it will convert over to our other environment. So let's go to transform data again. And in our, there is our parameter and it's got a current value. Let's go and fetch the other value. So if we look at the top here, I am going to copy that part of the path and switch back in to Power BI. Update that to be the new value. Okay. Now, if this is the first time you've connected to that environment, you're going to get edit credentials. 
So we're going to go to edit credentials and let's sign in and let's connect. And there we are. We've got our more accounts and we've got our more contacts. OK, and if I go close and apply. They are we get more industry, different industries coming up and we get more accounts. Now, obviously, this isn't particularly tidy. I haven't made this report the most beautiful thing in the world, but I've got 10 accounts and I've got 15 contacts. When I'm going to publish this report. OK, and then let's go, let's go and have a look at it. OK, so there is our report. Let's go and have a look in the workspace. OK, and there's our report. And let's go and have a look. We've got under settings. You'll see there's parameters. And there's our current value. So let's try switching that to the other value. OK. Let's switch it back again. So I'm going to copy that and paste into the environment parameter and click apply. Potentially, you're going to have to do things with credentials. No, that's not private. I want it organizational. And then click sign in. OK. And then the important part here is to go back into your data set here and to do a refresh. And now if I go and have a look in this report, OK, looks like it hasn't refreshed yet. Let's just do a control R. And there we are. We're back to our original numbers of five and six. So this makes your report a lot more flexible when you're dealing with lifecycle management. You're going to need those paths to our things parameterized, not um, put in not put into um, having to edit every single query. So this was using parameters when connecting to Dataverse. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.